everyone. This is co-youth pastor Mary Barksdale from Pentecostal Temple Church of God in Christ, where my pastor is the one, the only, Pastor Kellen Brooks. Woo! Amen. We thank you all for joining us here on today. Um, the lesson we're going to be talking about is called Moving Up the Mountain. Moving Up the Mountain. And that's Hebrews, the 12th chapter, 1 through 2. Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. Therefore, we also, since we were, we were surrounded by so great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and shall sit down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. That was Hebrews, the 12th chapter, 1 through 2. Um, that was the King James Version, the New King James Version. Um, the lesson we're going to be talking about, it once again, is moving up the mountain, moving up the mountain. And... Um, in this lesson, I was thinking about um, how, you know, you can visualize an actual mountain. What is on an actual mountain? We have um, rocks. We have um, different holes and things like that. We even have animals, you know, that may live um, on the mountain as well, bugs, different things like that we have on the mountain. And the mountain also, um, it starts, it, it's very steep. So it starts off as you're going up higher. Um, it gets even rougher sometimes as you're going up higher. And um, in this, it talked about, in Hebrews, it talked about we're um, surrounded by so great cloud of witnesses and we must lay aside the weight and the sin that easily besets us. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about is let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, he is the author and the finish of our faith. So the race, the mountain represents the race that we're running. The mountain represents our life. The mountain represents um, our stand for God or, or represents um, our life path. Amen. The path that we take. And sometimes um, even when we're in God, when we're in Christ, there's still going to be some rough mountains. There's still going to be some rough road. There's still going to be um, some hindrances, some stumbling blocks and things like that. He never, uh, God never told us, Jesus never told us that it would be just smooth. You know, it's going to be easy because he said to cast all our cares upon him because he cares for us. So he will make things lighter for his yoke, our yoke, his yoke is easy. Amen. And his burden is light. So he will make things lighter for us. Amen. That's how we lean and trust and depend on, on him. Amen. But we do have life that happens. We have um, ups and downs and we have um, troubles and woes. We have sicknesses in our bodies. We have uh, death within the family, death, you know, in, within the job, the home, wherever the case may be. And so as we were thinking about this mountain, we're climbing up this mountain. Picture climbing up a mountain and you stop and you, uh, you're climbing and you're doing all that you know how to do within Christ. You know, climbing and you know all that you know how to do. And then you get this rock, this rock that is hindering you. You step on a rock and it's hindering you from doing the things that you need to do. And that's just a stumbling block. But what do you have to do? Move the rock out of the way. Ask God to help you to um, ask God to help you to remove this rock. And you what? Continue on. You continue on moving forward. You continue on because you have a goal in mind. You have a race that you have to run. You have a race that you have to finish. So in this, um, when you're as you're climbing up the mountain, amen, um, like I said, there is hindrances, there are stumbling blocks, there's things that's in your way, paths, holes that are in your way. But yet you have to press forward, yet you have to continue to move on, yet you have to finish out this race. And with God by your side, yes, you have when you when you're trying to um, climb a mountain, there is um, different tools, amen, that you have to climb this mountain. You're not going to just climb it. Um, just, just, you know, walk up the mountain and try to climb it yourself. No, you have tools. Amen. And God gives us tools. 
And man, he gives us the Holy Ghost. He gives us um, weapons and tools and things that we need. He gives us his word that will help us amen, to climb this mountain called life, to climb this mountain. And so um, in doing so, we will be able to reach the top because it says looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Once we look to him, amen, when we look to him, then that is who we will depend upon. That is who we will trust upon. That is how we will make it in this life. We can't do it without God. Without God, the Bible says we can do nothing. Amen. So with him, we can do all things. And that's who we have to look to because he's at the top of the mountain and that's where we're striving for. That's where we're reaching for. So let us not um, worry about the hindrances. Let us not worry about the stumbling blocks because they will come. But we have a greater hope. We have a greater trust. We have faith in God that he will bring us out and that he will bring us out all right. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask that you would continue to help, oh God, and strengthen and encourage each one, oh God, in the name of Jesus, to move um, up this mountain called life, to continue to persevere, to continue to um, help and encourage one another, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Continue, help us continue to look unto you, oh God, the author and the finisher of our faith. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Amen. I thank you for joining us on today. Remember, continue to move up the mountain. Amen. Remember that Jesus loves you and I do too. And remember what the Bible says and what our pastor says. Amen. It shall be well. God bless you.